Okay, in the last video we solved for the Sisyphean force using just Fz sin, sin theta and the law of motion, the second law of motion. And that was without friction and without acceleration, right? It was moving in a constant velocity. But this time, I want to make things a bit more interesting, a bit more difficult. And let's do that, right? Let's do that, make it difficult. So what am I going to do this time? Let me write the mass down here again and g down here again okay g that was again 10 meter per second square we, we need this okay we need this to be easy okay but what about the acceleration okay so sisyphus is pushing more force and a he has managed to make it accelerate and accelerate with you know like uh, make it an acceleration of say two meter per second square okay it is moving now in an acceleration of two meter per second square. But again, again, this time it has a friction. Okay, so it's no more a frictionless heel. No more a frictionless heel. Okay, let me wipe this down here actually. Okay. No more, no, 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 no. Let me, let me, friction heel. Okay, that seems fun. Friction heel. Okay, cool. So now this time it has a friction, which I will name the force of sub f you know like this is small f this is big f okay i hope you will know how to distinguish okay it has a friction and it is now moving in uh accelerated you know motion you know uniform acceleration of two meter per second square now we want to find a few things okay we want to find the force of friction we want to find the force that sisyphus is using to you know move this boulder upward and the normal force as well okay cool so again the same logic will use the fbd to see what things are balancing each other okay so cool so let us try to solving for the normal reaction uh, fg cos theta this time okay because that seems really easy okay because it has two forces that are balancing okay you know get it okay so let us do that let me make a nice border up here and okay so acceleration equals sigma f that is the net force times not times okay i mess it up always okay over the mass okay and this is the direction we're talking about this direction right here okay so here we have an acceleration of two meter per second square in all yeah so so we have the positive force this type okay because this is kind of upward this is downward right makes sense so we have a positive force that is the normal force okay so the positive okay positive normal force and negative negative fg cos theta force of gravity cos theta the horizontal component and we have a mass of 100 kg of 100 kg what happened this the last time is that we had zero up here so cross multiplying 100 would uh, just make it was just making it uh, uh, zero but this time we have two so we gotta multiply that right so 100 times two that is 200 meet kg meter per second square so let's take newtons right here kg meter per second square that is the fundamental units of newtons right so 200 newtons equals equals our normal force our normal force and let us substitute fg right here which is mass times gravity okay acceleration due to gravity and cos theta it's just 60 right it's just cos 60 right and let me make some space right here okay the normal force will equal to 100 times 10 i will just make it a thousand to make things simpler because this is 100 and this is 10 100 and 10 okay times cos 60 and that is half okay so i just pause there huh? and this will equal normal force minus 500 newtons okay not let me make that same color 500 500 newtons okay and and if we move this 500 right here to this side okay it will 200 newtons 
plus, because this is in minus, plus 500 newtons, which equals to the magnitude of the normal force, which means that the normal force, the magnitude of normal force is 700 newtons. 700 newtons. Okay, cool. So we just found the normal force right here. Let me write it here. 700. Okay. 700 newtons. Okay. Okay. This this is done. Okay. Now let us solve for the friction. Okay. Now here I, I will let you know one thing. The force of friction depends on the normal reaction and the coefficient of friction. Now what is the coefficient of friction? Okay. Um, according to the definition, it is the ratio between the limiting friction and the applied force. Okay. Uh, and that is a lot. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. So it is represented by the Greek letter mu. Okay. This is mu, mu. Okay. Mu, mu, mu. Okay. And as I said, it is the ratio between the friction, limiting the, the friction that is between the thing, okay, the friction and the normal reaction, okay, and the normal reaction, normal reaction, which means, which means that if, if you cross multiply this force of, no, no, the normal force right here, okay, that is F sub N, and multiply that with mu, okay, you get, you get, this should be in green by the way, the, you get the force of friction, which means the force of friction depends on the normal force and the coefficient of friction, okay? Now, we're just not gonna find the ratio here because, you know, we don't have the force of friction listed, but we'll just make up a number, okay? We'll just assign mu as zero point say three zero point three okay now this coefficient of friction tells us about the surface of the you know the about the nature of the surface as well you know the roughness it depends on the roughness to be honest and it the hill has a coefficient of friction of zero point three so we'll just use that just that and yeah so taking this formula and writing it in a better way okay f sub f that means the force of friction equals to the f normal force times the coefficient of friction. And if we plug in so the right numbers, the normal force is 700 newtons, 700 newtons, and the coefficient of friction is 0 0.3, okay? And if you solve, okay, if you solve for it, friction, the magnitude of friction, to be very honest, to be very clear, equals you know, if you multiply this, whatever, you know, I'm just going to use my calculator. You can solve for that as well. And that equals 210 newtons. Okay. So that is the force of friction right here. Let me write that down. Uh, maybe here in this side. Okay. This side, 210 newtons. Okay. And yeah, that's cool. Okay. And we can solve for our Sisyphean force this time. Okay, yeah, how will we do that? So let me just close this off, make another layer, and let me write 700 newtons up here again, okay? And so what are we trying to do? Again, using the FBD, we're just gonna match things up, okay? So what force is you know, kind of equal, equaling, canceling, trying to cancel the force of Sisyphus, okay, F1? Well, that is our force of gravity and our friction, right? In this direction of motion, right? In this direction of motion. So we're just going to use that and use the Newton's second law of motion this time, okay? So acceleration equals the net force. Again, the net force over mass. Uh -huh, I got it right this time, yeah. And we have an acceleration of 2 meter per second. 2 meter per second square. Yes. And what are the forces this time? Well, we have the Sisyphus force that is in the positive direction because it is moving, you know, it's towards that thing. Okay. So plus 
F1, you cannot, you know, you may or may not write the plus here. It, it, it's just understood. And you have Fg sine theta, which is in the opposite direction. It is opposing the motion, Fg sine theta. And again, you have the force of friction, which always opposes motion, always, in every case, right? So we have a mass of 100 kg. We're cross multiplying that. And just in the just like in the last case, we got 200 newtons, and that will equal that will equal to F1 minus minus Fg sine theta minus minus the force of friction. Okay, a green color. Sorry, minus the force of friction. Right, and I'm just gonna put in the numbers right here. Okay. I'm just going to put in the lump, sorry, sorry about that, 200 newtons, that will equal F1 minus M times G, M times G, sine 60, right, sine 60, minus the force of friction, which was just 210, I, get, I can just write it like this. And that will equal to the force, the Sisyphean force. M equals, uh, no, the mass equals is, is 100. And the G is 10 meter per second square. So that, if you multiply that, it will become 1,000, okay? 1,000 newtons. 1,000 newtons and signed of 60 degrees, which is root 3 over 2 minus, minus 210. Okay, and now is the time we shift the things over to this side, okay? You can do it in any moment, to be honest, but yeah. Uh, that is 200 newtons plus, I'm just gonna, you know, write, divide 100 by 2, sorry, 1000 by 2, that is 500 root 3 newtons plus our 210 newton, 210 newton, and that will equal to the force that Sisyphus is using, okay? And we're just gonna do some quick addition, okay? So 200 plus 210, that is 410 newtons. And we're gonna do this with a cal cal calculator, yes? Because calculators are sick, right? And that is 866 newtons, okay? Remember in the last case, okay? In the last frictionless case. and F1. Okay, really nice. And we're gonna do another addition. And finally, we're going to find the force that Sisyphus is using. And addition, 6. And here it's 7. And again, here it's 12. Okay, so 1,276 1, newtons. Okay, this is the force that Sisyphus is using. That he's using to push this boulder upwards with an acceleration of 2 meter per second square where there is a friction force. Okay, cool. So this is a lot. Okay, remember in the last case, he just used only, only 866 newtons, but this time he's using far more. Yeah, which makes sense because there is a friction and there is ex acceleration, right? Okay, cool. So recapping the video, what did we do? What did we do right here? We just found the normal force. Why? Because we needed the friction. Okay, because friction depends on the coefficient of friction. Okay, uh, I, I forgot to write that down here. Okay. Coefficient of friction and the normal reaction, right? We found that with uh, the Fg cos theta. And we found the force of friction right here with the help of these two parameters. And then we finally use the FBD to find the forces that are trying to cancel the fo uh, force that is Sisyphus is using. And finally, we used the second law of motion and calculated the force that Sisyphus is using. That means Sisyphus, Sisyphus is strong. Okay, he is strong and so are you. Okay, because you know, you're doing great. Okay, I'm gonna see ya in the next video. Till then, take care of yourself. Stay frosty.